I'm Fumika Beb from Osaka University in Japan. I'm going to talk about body parts detection from neonatal thermal images using deep learning. We need to control thermal environment in incubators for premature infants. This is because they are easily affected by incubator temperature due to immature body function of thermal regulation. Currently, medical staff manually control the incubator based on the temperature of multiple body parts measured by probes. However, the measurement by probes is unreliable and it is not comfortable because we have to directly stick them to their skin. Also, it makes long-term measurement difficult because the probes might easily peel off. To solve this problem, recent advances in infrared sensing enable us to measure the skin temperature by using thermal camera, which is non-contact device. So we can reduce discomfort and stress for infants. Also, it's possible to measure entire body temperature. In addition, we can use it in privacy concern situations such as hospitals. The key challenge is how to estimate temperature of different body parts from thermal image. We use the thermal camera only because of privacy issue. There are some works using thermal images. For example, thermal face recognition is proposed for security purpose in the dark. Also, pose estimation is achieved based on deep learning. However, these approaches don't work well for premature infants because these models are built by using training data of adults. As far as we know, there is no approach focusing on premature infants. So we decided to build a model using deep learning. Our main contributions are three as below. First, we build a simple parts detection model. Second, we leverage related positions among the body parts to improve performance. Third, we extract body temperature from detected parts and show its use case and effectiveness. In this presentation, we estimate head, torso, arms, and legs from a thermal image. We chose these six parts because they are main components of the whole body. However, we have two problems at first. The first one is how to treat some unsuitable images where target body parts are not visible. For example, such cases happen when medical staff is taking care of an infant like this picture. Also, the other problem is a typical detection model like YOLO detect targets independently. This means the detection model can output impossible results such as the leg is far above the head. To solve these problems, we propose not only part detection model, but also classification before detection and filtering after it. This is the overview of our method. First, we perform binary classification by CNN with thermal images to classify valid or invalid images. Next, we perform body parts detection based on Euro V5 trained by valid thermal images. After that, 
We perform filtering by using features based on related positions among the parts. Finally, we extract the skin temperature of neck based on the detected body parts. There are some images during intervention by medical staff. They are not appropriate for temperature extraction because the target body parts are not visible. To remove such images, we classify the input images into valid or invalid by using CNN. The CNN architecture is shown in figure. We can distinguish between valid and invalid images by a simple model because there are clear differences in temperature distribution in the shape and size. Next, we built the body parts detection model based on Euro V5. The input is thermal images classified as valid by CNN. The output is the thermal images with the detected bounding box with their class levels and confidence score given by Euro. We selected Euro V5S models which is the smallest network among variations of Euro B5. In our method, we take only one detection model with the highest confidence score for each part because there is only one premature infant in one incubator. After that, we divide the decision tree to check consistency among the detected body parts because Euro B5 doesn't consider related positions. For the output of Euro, we first remove labels and extract features such as related positions, including distance and vector, from the head. The detected head is used as reference of the related positions because the head performance is highest and stable. Given the features of a bounding box, the decision tree outputs a label which is one of six body parts. If the estimated label is consistent with the class of V5 output, we accept it. Otherwise, we reject the bounding box as wrong detection. This is some example. We can estimate six body parts from each thermal images. However, there are some wrong detected body parts, like legs above the head. Even in such cases, we can remove them by filtering. For evaluation, we collected data in the hospital. The picture shows an incubator. A thermal camera is attached to the top of the incubator such that the whole body of an infant is within a thermal image. We obtained about 5,000 thermal images of various body postures from 26 infants. And then we manually labeled about a thousand body images as training data. The other images were labeled as invalid. We trained and tested CNN with both valid and invalid images. And we trained and tested Euro and Decision Tree with only valid images. As an evaluation matrix, we use intersection over union, IOU, which is often used in evaluation of detection models. IOU considers both of the size of bounding box and its position. 
The larger the overlap between predicted box and the actual labeled box, IOU becomes closer to one and vice versa. For example, if the prediction is almost perfect overlap, like the head, IOU is 0.83, which is large. But in case the overlap is small, even if the position is correct, IOU is 0.37, which is small. We set a threshold for IOU and regard detection method with IOU is larger than the threshold as correct regards. We show the confusion matrix of the binary classification in this table. The average precision is 69.4% and average recall is 91.9%. Pression of valid class is especially low because of data imbalance, but recall of both classes are high. You may think that false valid classification may lead to wrong body parts detection. Actually, such images were very similar to true valid images, which is not intervention but just without legs. Even for such images, our body parts detection model can still work. Therefore, the binary classification performance is high enough to remove invalid images. As a result of body parts detection, we show the pressure and recall graph when we change IOU threshold from 0 to 1. The larger the IOU threshold, the lower the both of performance are. This is natural because it's difficult to large overlap between predicted box and actual labeled box. However, we don't need large overlap with actual body parts because our goal is to extract temperature. This means rough position is still useful. Looking at this graph, we can see stable performance for the IOU threshold less than 0.3. So we set the IOU threshold to 0.3 in the following evaluation. We also noticed that the perform performance of arms is lower than other parts. Actually, we can improve this by filtering in the next slide. This table shows pression and recall after filtering. Pression is 94.8% and recall is 77.5%. Pression improved by 4.9%. Especially, head and torso achieved very high performance. In addition, pressure of arms and legs also exceeded 90%. On the other hand, recall decreased by 1.1%. This result indicates some of the correct parts were wrongly removed due to filtering. However, pressure is more important metrics considering medical application because we don't always need to estimate all body parts. So we confirmed that filtering based on related positions can contribute to improve the pressure by suppressing the decreased recall. To see the effectiveness of the skin temperature measurement by using our method. We design a simple method to extract the neck skin temperature. We first choose neck as a use case 
because we thought neck is important spot relative to core body temperature. The neck is between the detected head and torso. Therefore, we simply defined a fixed bounding box related to the detected head and torso. The neck area may still contain backgrounds, so we take the average of the top 25% in the temperature distribution. This process successfully extracts the neck skin temperature because the neck has relative high temperature compared to other areas. Finally, we confirmed the correlation between extracted temperature and the temperature in the salt measured by Pro. The correlation coefficient was 0 0.82. This result shows the possibility of using extracted neck temperature for incubator temperature control. In conclusion, we proposed the body parts detection from neonatal thermal images using deep learning. We combined binary classification by CNN, parts detection by Eurobri5, and filtering by decision tree. And the evaluation result shows that the pressure was 94.8% and the recall was 78.6%. Finally, we confirmed the correlation between temperature in the salt and extracted neck skin temperature. As future works, we will also extract temperature based on the detected arms and legs. And we are also planning to estimate core body temperature from extracted temperature of various body parts. Thank you all for listening.